Hello everyone and welcome back to another 1.20 Let's Play video. In last episode, we did lots of exploring and even found a sniffer. And in today's episode, we're going to be building another portal and going to the nether for the first time. So if you are excited for that, then be sure to like and subscribe and let's jump right in. I haven't uploaded last episode yet, so I don't have any of your all's name suggestions for the sniffers, but don't worry, I won't forget to name them. I want to put our little snifflet in with the cows, I think, because I just feel bad having him in the front of my house just all by himself, so he can at least hang out with the cow friends. Also, I'm sure that he's about to grow up at any point now, so I'm very curious to see how big he's gonna be because i just know he's gonna be huge you fit in so well i hope that you make lots of friends here honestly i don't mind him in the cow field at all he's kind of cute you know just the dinosaur blending in with the cows also this way i know that he'll be safe so i don't have to worry about him getting off of his leash we will at some point build some kind of sniffer sanctuary but it's gonna have to be huge and i want to do it justice and i just need a little bit more time to brainstorm what i want to do for them honestly but one thing that i forgot to do at the end of last episode is to add lily pads to all of the ponds. I don't know how I forgot that. I've been so excited about acquiring some lily pads and then I just completely forgot. Oh, and we have string too. Let me go grab some string. That means that we can put some string on top of the sugar cane to prevent it from growing. So I will break some of the sugar cane so that we can kind of customize the size of it. So much better. And then we can add some lily pads finally. Oh, and I should probably replace that moss block that was there. Perfect. And now time to add some lily pads down here. Ooh, and our glowberries have started to grow too. I'm loving that we're going back to our older projects and continuing to improve them. That makes me so happy. <gasps> Oh, the sniffer has grown up and look, he's given us a torch flower seed already. Oh, he's so big. I kind of wish we could ride them. Wouldn't that be so cool? But look at him. He's so cute. Oh, I'm so happy that sniffers have been added to the game. They're so fun. Anyways, I came up here to add a couple of lily pads to this pond and then also to put some string on top of the sugar cane. I believe that we can plant torch flowers in farmed land. So I want to plant some in the little bee greenhouse, I think. I think that someone suggested that, that we put the new sniffer plants inside of here. And I think that's a great idea. So I think that we can hide some water underneath these campfires. And then from here, we can just farm some land and plant the torch flower seed. Planting the past. Oh, this is so cool. I honestly can't remember what this one looks like, but I'm excited to find out. We'll check on it later. It sounds like there's a lot of mobs underneath there. Oh, they're all right there. Okay. Oh my goodness. I honestly don't know how I let this happen. Well, I'm going to let it happen again because uh, I don't have any torches. Now I would like to actually go back over to the lush cave and get some axolotls, but also get some moss because we know about my bone meal situation. We just don't have a lot of bone meal right now. So the easiest way to get moss is going to be just to grab it from the lush cave. Oh, I should probably grab some torches first. I also brought my maps with me because I just want to utilize maps a lot more in this world, I think. I believe that there should be an azalea tree. Oh, right there, right by the forest fire. Perfect. I brought some ladders with me because I would like to be able to easily get up and down here if we can help it. Oh, okay. We have reached the lush cave. Oh, hanging roots. Perfect. I would like some of those, please. And it seems like we have an abandoned mine shaft right there. So this will be perfect. Now we can kind of sort of easily get back up to the surface. I'll just spam a bunch of torches right here so that we know that this is the way out. 
there, we shouldn't get lost, right? Right. And also as much as I would love to mine all of the resources and really explore around here, my purpose for coming here is to get moss and axolotl. So I need to focus on the goal. And you know, maybe some of these and maybe some of these. Oh, wow. Okay, that's fun. Oh, there's a geode right there. Oh, that's so cool. Here are the coordinates for that if you are interested. But we are going to stay clear from there because, you know, that. Axolotls and moss. Axolotls and moss. There's a lot of water over here. Oh, and we've actually been here before. So hopefully we should be able to find some axolotls. This is literally the first mob that I've seen down here at all. Um, I mean, I guess we saw some creepers, but the first mob I've been approached with, even last time that we came down here, I didn't see a single mob at all. Oh, I found an axolotl. It is a white one. Come here, little guy. The cutest predator. Look at that enderman there. Obviously, I'm not going to really look at him, but he's having a grand old time. Diamonds! I mean, I can't say no to diamonds. <gasps> oh, another one! A pink one! Oh, and a yellow one! Oh my gosh, there's a baby! A baby just out in the wild! It's so cute! There's a yellow one. Oh, oh my gosh, there's two babies. There's one there, and then there's one right there. Like, do I really want to take them off? That's kind of mean, isn't it? Go, baby, go back in there. Maybe I'll just take one of the babies. They're so fast. We got a baby and now we can pick up one more. So hopefully we find ooh, more diamonds. Ooh, so many. We now have a total of eight diamonds. That's crazy. And we're not even looking for diamonds. There's another pink one. Or maybe that's the same pink one. I'm not sure. Well, if we find another brown axolotl, then we find one. But now I'm just going to gather some moss. I'd say that we made it out pretty good on lush cave goodies. We got so much moss, small drip leaf, even diamonds, some spore blossoms, and some axolotls. So now it is time to find our way out of this cave. There is another yellow axolotl, which we could grab him if we wanted to. I'm not seeing a brown one anywhere, but I mean, he's here, so we might as well grab him, right? Here's the way out. We didn't get lost. And let's head back home. Now I want to put some axolotls down here in this pond, I believe. I am a little bit worried that they're going to get themselves killed because there's a lot of just land and not a lot of water. So we may place like one down and then just see what happens. Maybe it will check back up on him at the end of the episode. And if he's still alive and thriving, then we'll put the rest of them down here or at least a few more. But for now, I'll go ahead and put them here for safekeeping. Don't let me down, okay? I think that I want to build another portal right here in the side of the mountain. But now we have moss checked off of our material gathering list so next we need to gather a bunch of cobblestone and also some stone and then last but not least lots of obsidian it seems like our sniffer friend is doing well he's checking out the cows in here and just look how much bigger he is in the cows and he's actually bigger than me wow see this is how i imagine humans and cows in real life like these proportions so as we know there is a layer of obsidian right here so i'm going to to gather all of the obsidian that I'm going to need for the nether portal here. I think that I'm going to need like 40 pieces or something ridiculous. And then I'm going to also gather lots of cobblestone. So I will hop back in as soon as I'm done with that. got a pitcher pod so I wanted to plant it here in the big greenhouse. We are beginning to run out of space though but I guess we'll put it here. 
and our torch flower is coming along nicely too. But the goods have been acquired for the nether portal and imagine a big nether portal right there inside of that mountain. I hope it turns out really cool because it's gonna take a lot of work. So hopefully the hard work pays off. First things at first, we have to clear out some of these trees. Maybe before we place the obsidian down, we'll just place some cobblestone down because wouldn't it be so sad to place all the obsidian down and not like the placement and then have to regather it? That would be so, so sad. So first we will map it out with cobblestone. So it will be 11 long and it's just going to be a perfect square. So we'll do measurements of 11 on every side. I think that my math was wrong somewhere, but that's okay. We'll just do whatever measurements this is. I don't think I've ever built a nether portal this large so i'm kind of excited about that let's have a step back and look at it just to be 100 percent sure that we like the placement of it let's see uh i actually think i want it down just a little bit maybe by like two or three blocks all right let's see what we think about this okay i like that a lot better it feels more snug in there i think i keep on forgetting things in my house and i keep on having to go back and forth which is just slightly annoying i wanted to place some furnaces over here where i'm working so that i can continue to smelt down some cobblestone and now to encase this in a bunch of stone i think that i want the obsidian to be mostly hidden i don't really want to be able to see it very much so we'll keep that in mind whenever we are building out the cave and after i get the stone in here i'll come in with some other texturing blocks like the moss that we got and maybe some mossy cobblestone this little cave thing down here too will have to go so i'm just going to kind of fill it in before i get too far along with the cave process i'm going to have to do the back wall of the nether portal i don't just want to see dirt through the nether portal so i'm just going to texture it with cobblestone and stone and there we go i think that i've made some progress but i want to step back and look at it and see how it's going so far Whenever you are doing this in survival and not creative, it's hard to like, you know, take a step back and look at it. Okay. I mean, that's something, right? I know that's a lot of stone right there in that one area. And of course we will texture it with other blocks that aren't stone blocks, but I want to also slowly like bring some stone out here too a little bit. So I believe that I am going to get busy and get to work getting the rest of the nether portal in. And let me know if you would rather see replay footage of my builds or me do the builds live with you all or a combination of the two. I haven't been doing replay footage because the mod hasn't been updated for 1.20. So let me know, a combination of the two or no replay or all replay, let me know. But now we're going to skip to a little bit of replay footage so that you can get a taste for it. about does it for the nether portal except that piece right there i do have to put a block there but of course let me know what you thought about that replay footage and i have so many leftover resources which is so nice we'll definitely put that towards our next project but now we need to do a bit of prepping before we go to the nether as much as i love my coast armor trim armor i do want something a little bit more protective for the nether so i think i'm gonna go ahead and break down and make ourselves a chest plate and then also some diamond leggings. We found so many extra diamonds last episode and also this episode so I think it's only fitting that we make ourselves some diamond armor and then we'll do some golden booties. Feel much more suited for the nether now and we'll have to get armor trim for like all the armor. I even want to make like a full set of gold armor and get armor trim for that just because it's so much fun. But now it is time to light this nether portal and actually jump into the nether. Hopefully we get a good spawn, but all I want to get while we're in the nether is quartz. Honestly, that's all I want. So there she goes, all lit up and fingers crossed. <gasps> oh, oh 
Oh my gosh. That was so scary. I literally thought we were just about to fall through the nether. What is this? What is this box that we're in? I don't like this. Uh, okay. Well, here are my nether portal coordinates. I definitely want to take note of those. But we need to get out of this box. What is this? I've never spawned anywhere like this before. I mean, I guess it's safe, I guess, but like, I don't like it, honestly. Oh, okay. Well, here is some, oh, oh my goodness. Well, there's some warped forest that way, but you just got to swim through a little bit of lava before you get there. Let's see what's this way. There doesn't seem to be much down here, honestly, but apparently we're in the warped forest biome. Uh, okay. Let's try somewhere else. What about this way? Ooh, some quartz. I mean, that's what I came here for. I want quartz so that I can make some automatic farms. I wanna make an automatic bamboo farm and also an automatic sugarcane farm. And I'm pretty sure you need quartz to do that, right? To make the observers. And we do have to find another fortress, which is always so annoying because we could find it right away or it could take forever. Okay, this is literally the worst spawn ever. Let's try to staircase down and see what happens happens okay that happens oh my gosh this is the worst one ever how am i gonna get down there i was about to say oh i'll just get a water bucket but you know this is the nether so i don't think that will work oh and there's a bastion cool why did i spawn in the ceiling like this honestly i think that i might try again you know like i think i'm going to make another nether portal maybe so that i can spawn it in a better place because this is trash it sucks that this is like my nether portal you know well i know exactly where we can make ourselves an easy nether portal that's away from our base there's actually a ruined portal over this way pretty much right where that dark oak forest is so I guess we'll go over there and try again. I've literally never had a spawn that bad before. One time I spawned in the Soul Sand Valley and I just kept on like dying by skeletons a really long time ago. That was a pretty bad spawn, but I still feel like this one is worse. I don't know, maybe it's a blessing in disguise. I'm not sure. And there's the room portal. We'll just fix that one up and then see where it lands us in the nether. Also, should I use nether travel in this world? Let me know if you would like to see that. I've only ever really done nether travel one time ever in a personal world of mine. So let me know if that's something that you would like to see. It sounds pretty cool, actually. Maybe I should have brought a bed but I, I didn't think about it. Oh my gosh, why is there so much lava right here? I don't have a bucket either. Um. Oh, I do. Perfect. Thank you, chess boat. You saved me because I don't want to get out of the nether and then just like walk into the lava. That sounds like something that I would do for sure. And I'm pretty sure that you can't use crying obsidian to actually make a nether portal. So I don't think it's going to work like this. Let's find out. No, I didn't think so, but I feel like you should be able to use crying obsidian. Don't you think? It's kind of dummy that you can't honestly. Now, perfect. I don't think we're crossing our fingers before, so so let's actually cross them now and hopefully we get a good spawn. <laughs> what is this? Literally, what is this? Oh, there's a ghast. What is this? I spawned on a tree? Okay, I mean, I guess it's like a little bit better, but not much, honestly. And let me turn on that nether fog again, just for the atmosphere, just for the vibes, you know? Okay, well, the fog is on now. I just want to play as vanilla as possible, I think. But again, we're here for quartz. So we're gonna get quartz and then we're gonna leave. I literally just touched the lava like a dummy. Oh, I think that's another bastion. Wow. I mean, that's kind of cool, right? Right? Enderman, you're really freaking me out. Love you, mean it, but I, I don't want you right here. We have about a stack and a half of quartz and that's gonna have to be good enough because I'm ready to go home now. Oh, there's some quartz right here. I'll grab this. I'm so not looking forward to actually exploring the nether and trying to find a fortress and all of the nether things that you kind of have to do, you know? So honestly, if you all have any tips for surviving in the nether, 
let me know right now, please, 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 because I always, always die. I don't know how I do, but I do. And of course, it's nighttime. You know, while we're just rowing here together, if you've used my seed, I would love to see your world. So feel free to tag me on Twitter or on Instagram. My socials are linked down below. But I would love, love, love so much to see your build in the seed because that's such a cool seed. Oh, it kind of looks like a heart. That was not my intention at all, but it's kind of cute, isn't it? Wow, that's actually so cool. Before we wrap up this episode, I do want to check out the yellow axolotl and see how he's doing down here. He seems to be doing pretty well. So does that mean that I should put another axolotl in here? Maybe, oh, well, I don't want two yellow ones, honestly. What about this one? Oh, it's the baby pink one, so cute. I think that I will leave the other two here just in case if we want to use them for future projects, but I love, where's the pink one? Oh, right here. But I love them in this little pond right here. They're so fitting. Now, last but not least, I would like to check out the plants in the bee greenhouse. They honestly might not be too grown, but I want to check them out. Our pitcher plant, I think that's what it's called, pitcher pod plant whatever it's doing pretty well and then the torch flower seems to be about the same but with that i think that i'm going to wrap that episode up here so i hope that you have enjoyed it it looks like our sniffer friend has given us another pitcher pod but i hope that you all have enjoyed this episode and if you haven't already then feel free to like and subscribe and i hope that you all have a lovely lovely day and thank you so much for watching bye